Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving straight ahead to our second contest of the evening. This contest is fought in the Fight UK welterweight division, under 170 pounds. And the first fighter to enter the octagon, into the blue corner, let's hear it for Junior Bueno. Okay, here I am with Junior Bueno. Uh, Junior trains out of First Legion, and tonight he is fighting uh, his debut on the Fight UK promotion. Junior, how are you doing today? I'm all right, thank you. Excellent. Well, Junior, you're originally from Brazil, yeah. but you're now resident in the UK. Yeah, did right. you do much training in Brazil before no. you came to the UK? No, I only did a few months of Jiu-Jitsu in Brazil, but then I came here straight away. Yeah. So would you consider yourself to be a ground specialist, or are you a, no. a, a, an all-round MMA no. fighter? No, I just try to do everywhere, be everywhere. Excellent. Well, you, you, you've got a you've, you've got a bit of a top heavy record for losses, which yeah. from what I've heard is, is is not sort of not typical of, of your performances in the gym. So do you, do you think the first few fights maybe you had a bit of few butterflies and you've quelled those down now? Um, my problem is that I just like to strike. That's it. I'm a striker. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I say I'm proud because I always win by decision, so I've never been tapped out yeah. or. Okay, oh. good man. Well, look, I mean, you're only young. You're 18 years old, yeah. and you seem full of, full of life, mate. And, you know, you look in half-decent shape. You've got a big smile on your face, so we're expecting some big things yeah. from you tonight. So all that's left to say, Junior, is to wish you the best of luck, and we'll see what happens tonight. And here's opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Maya Ado. Okay, here I am with Maya Daw. Uh, Maya's going to be fighting in our third contest this evening, and he trains out of Team Pariah in Birmingham, and it's his third appearance on Fight UK tonight looking for the elusive win. Uh, Maya, how are you doing today, mate? Fine, thank you, mate. Yourself? I'm very well indeed, thank you. Um, when you walked in today, Maya, you had a big smile on your face. You're looking very, very happy. You're looking very well prepared. So what, what have you done What have you done for this particular fight? Anything, just, just, anything different? Just trying hard, normal, just trying hard, go back. Like, last two fights in here before, just gone back and learned. Never really lose, you just learn, so I'm just learning from my losses. And exactly. Well, the, the, the key is that's right, Maya. The thing about it is, is obviously it's an amateur fight, so you know, you, you got you, you got to you got to learn your, you learn your trade in the old amateur ranks. Doesn't really matter whether you win or lose, it's all about what you take away yeah. from it. So, obviously, like I say, you know, the win would be nice, and uh, you know, that's what you're going out for. Yeah. Uh, you look like you're in really good shape once again, and you know, the team that you train with, obviously, very, very strong. Yeah. We get a lot of your guys on the show, yeah, and they're, they're, they're normally yeah. they're normally top heavy on the wins. Yeah. So, hope. Hopefully, you can get yourself in that category tonight. Get in, get in, yeah. Do you know much about your opponent? Was there anything special you did, or is it? Um, not much, really. I know won one last one, so. Excellent. Same amount of fights, so same. Okay, good stuff. Well, listen, Maya, what all that's left to say, mate, is best to look for tonight, and we look forward to seeing you in the cage, Thank you very okay? Much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing these fighters properly. Fighting out of the blue corner, he hails from Brazil. He's 18 years old. Stands six feet tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. He fights for First Legion and has a mixed martial arts record of four contests, one win and three losses. Let's hear it for Junior Bueno. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 26 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighed in at 184 pounds. He fights out of Pariah and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests with two losses. Let's hear it for Maya Ado. This contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. So second fight of the evening here at Fight UK, welterweight division, amateur attraction between Junior Bueno in the light blue shorts and Mayadora in the dark blue shorts from Pariah. Both of these guys bringing experience in. Two yeah. fights for Dor, four for Bueno, even at 18 years of age. Interesting to see how this one pans out. Yeah, Dawes got a little bit more life experience on him. You know, Junior is uh, aptly named Junior is coming in at 18, uh, coming from a very, very strong camp, First Legion Gym here in Leicester. Under the watchful eye of Jamie McManus, as we can hear him in his corner. And Junior uh, doing the right thing early, Sarah Lud to establish the jab. 
circling off and looking to set everything up behind that and having the reach advantage it's a it's a very clever strategy he is yeah we know the striking's good at first legion and junior there utilizing his reach advantage he's carrying what's uh doors five seven so junior coming at six foot he's carrying a fair bit of a height and reach advantage It'd be interesting to see whether Dawes wrestling is going to be any better because normally you'll see, you know, a shorter guy, the same weight, lower centre of gravity, usually a bit more muscle mass, a bit more weight behind him. Usually works out the wrestling is easier. From Dawes' point of view, he really needs to pick a range for me, Lloyd. He needs either to be all in or all out in this kind of middle range where he's at, he's at the mercy of the jab and also the mercy of the, the kicks as well. Yeah, you're right. He did land a very nice right cross there on Bueno's face, but that's really about the only effective shot we've seen so far. Bueno coming in with that double jab. I mean, that is... Oh, there oh, it is that's again. a big shot. Caught a leg and counter, and I like that because it'll give him something to think about with throwing those kicks again. That's it, yeah. It knocks your confidence. You walk in attacking, and you get knocked in the chops like that. You know, that's, that's a bit of a knock. And again, now Dawes, Dawes found something that works. He's found a technique that works, and are we going to see it a third time? Yep, there it is again. So Dawes slowing down now. He's, he's calmed down. He's happy. He's found a formula that works, and I think we might see this again, you know. He's happy to wait for these long kicks and then attack. Nice kick to the body once again. He's landed that a few times, Dawes. And then with the Superman now there and in the inside. There's the wrestling. That's what I'm talking about, that... that Height advantage for striking suddenly becomes a disadvantage in wrestling as Daw takes him down. But look, he's not interested. He's not interested in groundwork. Interesting. He wants to get back up and strike. Obviously, the taller guys with the longer legs and arms present some unique, unique problems on the on the mat. A lot of tricky guard work. Daw looking to throw the legs and punch if he can. Drops back, maybe looking for a leg to quite have it. That's the end of the round. Great Fantastic finish. Fantastic dying second flurry there from Junior Bueno. That was that was good. That was impressive. Second round we come out. Junior Bueno from First Legion in the light blue shorts. My door in the blue bad boy shorts. Surely, just saying, Ben, these are surely two of the best names ever for amateur MMA in the UK and certainly I'd like to be called Junior Bueno that's a cool name my, my Adore that just rolls off the tongue it's fantastic and there we see Dor working this takedown again but Bueno look he's got the underhook he stacked him up turned him attacking the body Dor turns again now we're seeing some really good wrestling skills here Door dropping that weight down low. This is where he has got an advantage, a natural advantage. He's lower and a bit heavier for his weight, so he's going to come down, bum scoop, kicks the ankle out, gets Bueno down on the mat. Beautiful trip there. Not like he might be straining with a double there, but I like the fact that he pulled it the other way, flicked the ankle out, and now he's got his man where he wanted him and where he had the success in the last round. Now, this will be interesting. Let's. Uh Let's see what Bueno is going to do with that guard. It's a closed guard position. He's up against the cage wall, so he's, he's limited to a degree in terms of where he can go. And he seems content with striking from the guard position. Corner imploring him to open the guard, use the cage to maybe wall walk a little bit. Good pressure from Dor saying that. I like the fact that the second there's any daylight, he's threatening with something, he's posturing up or he's looking to land strikes. That's it, we could hear the McManus clan there urging Bueno to get up. This is certainly his strong point, the striking and the range. He seems more confident there, so he does. He needs to, he needs to get up and not sit here and wait for, um, for Dor to come in. Bueno's yeah, corner urging him to come forward and turn the heat up, as they said. Notice his kicks are lower. Bueno's kicks are a bit lower now, a bit more damage into the leg. He doesn't want to get caught anymore with those high kicks. Bueno coming forward, snaps a nice shot off, throws a knee. Excellent. Dawn closes the range, excuse me. That's all right, I will talk for England, Ben. You've got to just jump in there or I'll just chat all the way on my own. Nice slam there from Dor, And we're back to where we were 30 seconds ago. 
Junior Bueno on his back. Mayador stood off, not engaging in the grappling, quite happy to just kick and strike and stalk, stalk his opponent. Trying to goad him there. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna grab your ankle. Leon Roberts has had enough, wants some backup standing. 10 seconds. Door fading away, flying knee to the ribs, hits that nicely, does Bueno, but Door once again, got to be careful, head positioning when he charges in like that. End of round two. And so often as we see in these battles when we're talking about a high differential, that the grappling, as it so often does, making a big difference, and Door's controlled it in a lot of respects with his wrestling. But close fights really are part and parcel of what we expect to fight UK here. Always greatly matched, these guys, in terms of experience and in terms of attributes. And Bueno understands that the concept of the fact that realistically he could very well be two rounds in the hole and he's come out aggressively, a lot of knees to the body. His takedown defense is a top notch. Look again, you know, we've got Dorr dropping down low, working that bum scoop and Bueno doing everything. He's rolling underneath with the underhook. There's the wizard attempt, but he hasn't got the leg in and that's it, he's gone down. Door on top, posturing up to strike. Bueno working a, a bit of a loose armbar attempt there. Didn't have full guard in the first place, so that wasn't that wasn't happening. And we're back again. Bueno on his back door striking. This time he's in. He's had enough. He wants to get in and do some damage. He's committed to it, and now he's in a good spot because he's retained his posture. He's almost stepped through straight into a mount spot. Bueno, yeah. Bueno is nearly at the back door. Door goes for the arm attack, looking for an armbar, almost to guillotine as we go back standing. And now uh, Bueno clinching, pushing Door against the cage wall, utilizing that uh, extra height advantage there as the knees coming up high. Tough spot for Door to try and crank that standing guillotine on, being the smaller fighter against a much taller guy. Had to try and get the elbows a bit higher on that one, but they've backed up now. It is, yeah, it's easy. When you're, being, when you're the shorter guy, it's easy when you're pushing against the cage wall because all your weight's doing the job for you. When you're on the outside, it's not easy at all. Clipping Ryan from Junior Bueno there. Nice shot. Door comes in. Beautiful. Hands class for the single, looking for the high crutch if he can get it, but good takedown defense. That was beautiful, that was beautiful. We've got a nice good view of that. Underhook, sprawled his leg out, broke the strike, broke the gut grip. Now he's striking, pinned on the wall. This is it, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Bueno is coming out, all guns blazing. Door once again a huge pickup and slam, and that's been the difference maker in this contest. It's going to come down to the age-old thing, isn't it, Ben? What do you value more in a, in a in a scoring situation, striking or wrestling? Obviously, on a sliding scale, you've got to look at the percentage of the round and where it was spent. And I do believe that when you look at it and you get the numbers there, you'd probably evaluate that the greater percentage of the round was spent with Door on top. And at that point, and it's not just the fact that. He's, he's landed in these positions maybe with a slip or, or a shot or anything like that. He's taken his man down and he's advanced to these positions. So from a, from a scoring point of view, you'd have to look at that under the, the sliding scale. But all credit to it, all credit to Bueno in the fact that he knew he had to go for it then and he had his man hurt. But Dora, as he's fallen back on, is, has been able to pull on that strength, tremendous grappling, get his man up, and now he's controlling him from the side control position. No, you're absolutely right. And Dawes going to have that. He's got an 0-2-0 record. He's going to have that hunger for this win. Um, being in that position myself, it's just that 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 thing that you can't put a finger on that you know fires you up. Big strike straight from standing again, and there we go. A second fight going to the decision. Testament to the matchmaking here at Fight UK as well. Testament to the UK amateur scene. And uh, we're going to see what the judges come up with, Ben. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, 30-27, in favour of your winner from the red corner, Maya Ado! But let's hear it for a very great challenger. Let's hear it for Junior Bueno.